Stardew Valley was released on February 26th of 2016. The game is a hybrid of a number of genres including farming simulation, action RPG, and sandbox. The game's development took four years and was completely created by Eric Barone under the name Concerned Ape. The game is a loose plot of you taking over your grandfather's farm after he passes. Beyond that, the game has a very loose plot that's about as deep as you'd like it to be. During the first year, the plot is delivered through cutscenes that you'll see by walking into certain areas at certain times. Most offer a small amount of backstory on the characters that live in the city near your farm. The characters that inhabit the city in Stardew Valley are one of the game's nicer points. The characters have diverse personalities which makes you want to get to know each of them. Friendship with the characters is achieved by gifting them things that they'll like, which will raise your friendship meter. If the meter becomes high enough with some of the characters, you'll be able to marry them. Aside from the social factors in the game, the gameplay consists of two main elements, farming and mining. When you first start out the game, you're given a plot of land, which is your farm. It's overran with boulders, trees, and weeds, but with a little effort, you're able to start growing crops on this land. The pace at which you're able to grow your farm is pretty amazing. The first few seasons, you'll be hand-watering your plants and slowly setting up your farm to grow more plants, but soon enough, you'll have automatic sprinklers, which will free up your time to work on things like making mayonnaise out of your chicken's eggs. The crafting system is one of the coolest things in the game. Many of the items you're able to craft will make your farm either more profitable or more functional. For instance, you can make pickle barrels and kegs to make pickles and wine, which are more valuable than the crops that you'll put into them. In order to make most things in the game, it requires certain items that you need to obtain. Many of the items you can craft just require very common items like wood and stone, but there are some rarer things that you'll have to find like ore or various types of minerals. The fastest way to obtain these is by paying a visit to the mine. Mining is the other major element of Stardew Valley's gameplay. The mine is a multi-floored, procedurally generated cave. This is where the action RPG elements of the game come into play as you'll be fighting off enemies with a sword, club, or slingshot. As you can probably guess, the further down in the cave you go, the better the rewards and the higher the difficulty. The difficulty of the cave is pretty minimal, especially once you get some decent gear. At this point, during my 33 hours with the game, so far I haven't died. Although, death does have some pretty major penalties, including losing progress in the mine, money, as well as some of the items that you have on you. Two major factors in the game are your health, which is only relevant when you're in the mine, and your energy bar. Every day you only have so much energy to work on your goals for that day. Things like cutting down trees, fighting in the mines, or mining will all lower your energy level. Running out of energy also has its penalties, as you'll fall asleep wherever you are and take a hit on your money when you wake up. You also will have reduced energy for the following day. Stardew Valley also features a fishing minigame that I've had a hard time using as the minigame is kind of confusing. The gameplay can be a bit repetitive as you're usually doing the same activities every day in the game with only a small amount of plot and events to break up the daily grind. However, for some reason everything in Stardew Valley just works. I find myself having a few different types of days. Some days I'll go out and cut down trees and harvest wood, or others your plants will be ready and need to be harvested, or you might spend the day mining. Since you set your own goals for what you want to do on your farm, doing the everyday things that help you reach your goals are engaging and a lot of fun. Stardew Valley's gameplay is fantastic. I can't think of any game that I've played in years that just makes time melt away like it does when I play this game. There's so many little touches to the game that you can uncover, like the arcade machines in the local bar which actually have games you can play on them, or the fact that I still don't know what's in the sewer. Stardew Valley's graphics have a timeless retro look to them. The environments are bright, bold, and colorful, which makes them extremely easy on the eyes. Every sprite is unique, and seeing the fields of plants on Harvest Day full of fruits or veggies look awesome. Before I spent time with this game, one of the turnoffs I had was the way the character sprites looked. However, after playing the game more, they do grow on you and they look fine now. The soundtrack for Stardew Valley is also really good. What amazes me even more is the soundtrack was also done entirely by Eric Barone. The music always matches the mood of the game, with upbeat and bright tracks for when you're walking around the city or working in the fields, and more somber and quiet songs for when you're in the depths of the mine. While I wouldn't say the soundtrack is super memorable, all the tracks do fit well with the game and aren't repetitive at all. Overall, Stardew Valley is an amazing game. Despite taking place in a small town, the game feels enormous with loads of things to uncover and unlock. I don't know what it is about this game, but it scratches an itch that most games are unable to. It's easy to pick up and play for a short amount of time, or a long amount of time, so really any time is a good time to pick up and play Stardew Valley. I really can't recommend this game enough, and for its price, it's an amazing value.